A Russian official admitted Russian President Vladimir Putin's military is playing catch-up against Ukraine during a recent appearance on Russian state TV. Putin launched his invasion of Ukraine more than nine months earlier in February, hoping for a quick victory against his Eastern European neighbor. However, Andrei Gurulyov, a member of the State Duma and ex-general of the Russian military, acknowledged Moscow's struggles while speaking on Russian state TV. There are things which are undeniable. We are well aware that they've been supplying things to Ukraine, Gurulyov said, referring to the Ukraine's Western allies. It started with helmets and bo He griped about Ukraine receiving military aid from the West, as the Kremlin has repeatedly spoken out against this assistance, that has been attributed to turning the tide of the next Himars and now Patriot systems. Next will be Abrams tanks or Leopards. It doesn't matter. It will all arrive at some point, Kirulia said. All of that is going to arrive. After months of Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky pleading with U.S. officials to send longer-range weapons, the Biden administration appears poised to provide Ukraine with Patriot systems. Kirulyov lamented that Russia's military leaders are often stuck playing catch-up whenever Ukraine receives new weapons, rather than already having a strategy in place to combat these missile systems. Unfortunately, in this regard, we're playing catch-up. We're on the defensive. We wait for them to bring something and then work out how to fight against it. That's the situation, isn't it? That's how it is, unfortunately, he said. Robert English professor of international relations at the University of Southern California, told Newsweek on Sunday that too many Russians are aware of their military's blunders for officials to keep lying about the reality of the conflict. So admitting that the Russian military has bogged down and suffered major defeats is unavoidable. And that's particularly so if the Kremlin want to prepare their people for more months of war. Paradoxically, to keep public support for more sacrifice, they have to admit to the huge sacrifices already made. It may not work, but they have to try, English said in a written statement. Kirulyov's remarks are the latest indication that Russia's invasion continues to falter. Throughout the conflict, reports have emerged about Russia struggling to maintain motivated, well-trained forces. Ukraine said this week that more than one million Russian soldiers have called the surrender hotline as the death toll of Russian troops approaches 100,000. As Russia struggles to take new Ukrainian territory, its military has turned to airstrikes against civilian infrastructure ahead of winter. Yes, clear. The line clear. Pacific. Pacific. 4423 live. We'll get the mobile station. I'm in. 